All right, guys, we've got our portable inner chiller system here. It's getting really cold. Down to minus 30.7, minus 23 Fahrenheit. You can see the tank and all the intercooler hoses are all freezing up. This particular one we're building for a race team. So you can see that's what it is there. They'll then put this in the back of a race trailer. They'll hook it up to a tank similar to this. 20 litres, about five gallons of antifreeze in there. They'll cool that down and then basically transfer that from the car. You know, look, they'll have, you know, five gallons on the car. Take it out, put this in and just keep swapping it between the car. Or you could obviously put Quick Connect on the actual chiller unit and uh, pump it but if you do it this way a tank just sitting next to the unit then uh, you can obviously just swap the fluid between the car and your tank so very cool bit of kit very nice and easy and obviously extremely cold this tank is not part of it this is just one of our baffled tanks you see here really really cold minus 23.4 Fahrenheit minus 30.8 Celsius we've got it hooked up to a 20 litre five gallon tank at the moment circulating the fluid measuring the fluid temperature here We're measuring 46.6 degrees Celsius 115.8 Fahrenheit this portable chiller system is going to be used for a race team where they're going to cool down the car in between rounds. What we're going to do here now is we're going to start it up and we're going to see how long it takes to change temperature of the 20 degree fluid. So we'll do one continuous shot here. All right, you can see there already reducing. We're 15 seconds in. So very rapid the way it's working. So I think it was 46.6 Celsius and about 115 or something we started it. So like I said, this is gonna be used for a turbo car. So basically what you do is have a five gallon, 20 liter tank like this. Not, not this particular one, this is a baffled one. It's one of our baffled tanks. You should check it out on the website, it's pretty cool. But a 20 liter tank like that, next to the unit so that the unit is cooling this fluid over and over and over again and then another 20 litre five gallon tank on the actual car and then every time you come back from doing a pass just swap the fluid out between the car and your tank so essentially this fluid will be cooling all day long and you're just swapping your hot fluid for your cold fluid out so this test here is to see how quickly we can do it so obviously only been just over a minute knocked it down to 40 degrees now you got to remember as well that this is 20 liters we've got this towel on top here because we're getting some splashback with uh, the flow rate of the pump because the pump's quite high high flow with our CWA 400s here I've got a cool flow meter here as well so 46.7 45 liters per minute and that's actually restricted because it's a 1612 adapter here and also a 1612 adapter there. Uh, this isn't the best way to set it up for high flow, but it's still doing pretty well pushing through everything. All right, so two minutes in, 38 degrees. So not bad. And this is also, you know, whilst it's a speed test, it's not really what you would typically normally be doing anyway. The weight of this unit, it's about 60 kilo, so about sort of, 110, 120 pounds. What you would normally do is place it on a trolley with wheels or fix it into your race trailer. What's also cool on this particular unit is just like our stage two kit, it's got dual AC condensers. So splitting off into both eliminates the most amount of heat. These are baffle tanks. These are really cool baffle tanks. So essentially we got 
uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven baffle layers in there. So essentially you're, when you go wide open throttle, your returning hot fluid goes in this side of the tank in the top and it can't mix with the cold fluid coming out the bottom. So based on your intercool pump flow rate, you probably have, you know, if you set it up seriously, you will have, you know, a minute or two's worth of fluid volume, but essentially that hot fluid can't mix with the cold fluid coming out the bottom. So you can basically say on the start line and the finish line that you've got the exact same temperature entering that intercooler for the entire race. If you imagine if you put 20 litres, five gallons of fluid in your freezer and you left it for eight minutes, if it would drop that sort of temperature, the answer is obviously no. Now, as I said, this speed test is, you know, it's good to know, but because you'll be just running it all day anyway, it's not really going to be that much of a concern. We're at 13 degrees, 55 Fahrenheit. What you can also do with this unit is use it next to your dyno if you're a shop and you want to tune for temperature with cars that don't have a chiller you can now tune for any temperature. So you can get that fluid on the car really, really cold. And you can also, you know, get it hot too. And uh, you can tune for every possible temperature. This obviously gives you unlimited tuning scope in what you can potentially tune for. 15 minutes, 1.5 Celsius, 34.4 Fahrenheit. Or minus 5.4 Celsius. 22.3 Fahrenheit. And that tank is starting to turn a little white. People ask us about uh, the tanks with expansion and contraction. It's, it's totally fine, man. Aluminum is designed to expand and contract, just like your inner cooler when it goes from you know, room temperature to all the boost. So, aluminum's fine as long as it's uh, made properly, which they usually are. That's like asking any OEM. Hey, will your car in Russia or Serbia be okay if I go wide open throttle? It's like, yeah, of course. 25 minutes, minus 9.5 Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, sorry, 14.8 Fahrenheit. Minus 12.9 Celsius, 8.8 .8 Fahrenheit. 0.4 Celsius, 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus 17.6, 0.3 Fahrenheit. Minus 19.1 Celsius, minus 2.4. Fahrenheit.